Back in June, I went out with the DNR during their spring walleye survey on Lake Ogibic. I filmed them on day one of pulling nets. Recently, I caught up with Michigan DNR Lake Superior Basin Coordinator Patrick Hanchin via Zoom to find out the results of the survey. I guess first start off, because I was there the first um, day that you were doing that, but I mean, how did that week go or that however long it took you to do those surveys? The spring survey, I will say, was challenging. We got a good population estimate for walleyes, but it was challenging. We had uh, several windy days. One day we had 50 mile an hour winds were blown off. The other problem with the wind is it turned, it flips nets. It, it puts pushes debris into your nets. So we had a lot of issue with that. And then, um, as you know, from being out there, we do, we mark fish over a period of a week or so. And then we do a recapture event. And we had a storm come through during the electric fishing survey. We got about halfway around the lake. So we had to get off you know, with the metal poles and the metal boats in the middle of the lake, but we still got enough for a good survey. We marked over 14,000 individual adult walleyes. And then in that recapture event, we handled uh, over 2,200. And we're very pleased with that, what level of precision that gets us. And it came out as about 40,802 adult walleyes. In the past, you know, we've done these in the past, they've ranged from 30,000 to 100,000 walleyes. The 100,000 one was using a quite different method than all the others. So it's a little bit questionable whether the population has ever been that high, but I generally think that the population ranges between 30 and 60,000 fish. So 40,000, a little bit on the low end, but no cause for concern. We were pleased with what we saw in terms of size structure. A lot of 11 to 13 inch fish that were on the spawning grounds and that should recruit over the next year or two to legal size. So anglers should start seeing those. One of the things we're kind of wondering about is, you know, while I have optimum conditions in terms of water clarity and temperature, they've got kind of the niche that they prefer. And the lake has been getting a little clearer and perhaps a little warmer which could make fishing for walleye different. And this has been documented in other lakes in Minnesota and Northern Wisconsin, where um, where the walleyes are inhabiting is changing. And so to some degree, anglers may, you know, we haven't documented that in Gogebic, but they may have to change some of their tactics. But as a, if a lake gets clearer, you know, it just changes where they are and how they feed and when they feed. So it, it's not, I'm not saying everybody should have to change every way they're fishing, but it's something to consider. Current walleye regulations on Lake Ogibic are a 15-inch minimum size limit and the maximum daily possession limit of five fish. I asked Patrick if they feel this needs to be changed. There's no need to change anything at this time. We can talk about it because there's more than one way to do things. You know, there's not one single regulation that fits all, but you got to talk to the anglers and figure out um, what they're interested in and what they want because you know, if you get into more complex regulations, some people are going to like them, some are going to hate them. Over the summer, the DNR has also done additional surveys on Lake Ogibic. We're not targeting perch in the spring, but they, they come shallow and they're in fact spawning on our nets sometimes. We were pleased with the number of perch we saw, more than in the past. We then followed up with a summer, what's called a status and trend survey. So as the water warms, a different fish come shallow. And um, that survey is also comprehensive in that we use gill nets, fike nets, trap nets, seines to get at minnows and that, and electrofishing. So it's kind of taken the whole picture of the lake. And we also saw more perch than we've seen in the past in that survey, in the gill net portion. So uh, we were pleased with that. I would say there was slightly more pumpkin seed uh, bluegills than in the past. And that may be indicative of, you know, warming climate and gogibic warming a bit. But all in all, when we've, you know, we talk, I talk with the biologists about the fish community, it looks like it's in much better balance than it has been. Some people look at the lower walleye numbers and think that's terrible. But uh, in the past, there's probably been too many predators in this lake. So I would say it's better balanced than it has been in the past. Lake Ogibic is famous for walleye and jumbo perch. I asked Patrick if it's better to have more of these species or an overall healthy balance of many species. When you get into targeting a single fish and enjoy that, that's what you want. But, uh, you know, we work for all the anglers and, and really there's an adequate number of walleyes in the lake. As you know, they're totally supported by natural reproduction, which is what you always want. 
We do not want to stock a lake if we don't have to. A lake this size, too, would take an enormous amount of fish to stock. The other thing about stocking is Lake Ogibic, based on genetic evaluations, has a unique strain. It's different than any other strain in the state. And there's some historic evidence that they came from Saginaw Bay uh, before Saginaw Bay declined. Um, and there's actual evidence of them being put on trains and hatched from commercial fishermen in Saginaw Bay. So from that respect, you wouldn't want to put um, like a bait and ox strain walleye in that lake. Just really overall thinking about the predator prey ratio and, and having a good balance. The lake at this time, you know, doesn't need any more walleyes. I think we were pleased. We kind of wondered with all the rep negative reports we were getting, whether something really terrible had happened, but overall very, very pleased with the uh, number of walleyes we saw and the overall balance of that fish community. Thank <laughs> you.